All right, guys, welcome back. I told you it wouldn't be that long until I got another video up. And look at me go, man. It's only been a few days, and here I am with another review. And today I'm actually really excited because we got something brand new and might I even say revolutionary. And that is the brand new Esco Bars H2O. And the reason it's called H2O is because these have 30% water in the e-liquid. And that means less VG and PG in your vape. Better for you. Now we're going to find out if it's also better for vaping. So hang tight guys because we are checking out the brand new Esco Bars H2O today on Indoor Smokers. Wada. So all right guys, I figured I would just go ahead and crack the box open with you. Here is one I have not checked out yet, but it's actually a flavor I wanted to try. So this is the green apple from Esco Bars. They all come wrapped in their own package like that. The vape itself is a 650 mAh battery as far as I can tell. I have heard some people say it was a 1000 mAh battery, but I don't know if you can read right there. The specs say 15 milligrams of juice, 650 ma, 6,000 puffs. And you don't really have to worry about the ma too much because you got a type C charging port right there on the vape. So this is a disposable, but it's not a one-time use. Basically you're expected to vape on this thing till the battery dies, recharge it, and do that over and over again. And this is basically a collaboration between Pastel Cartel, which makes the original Esco bars, Inakin, who makes like the hardware for the device, and Aquios, who I believe makes the e-liquid in this. So that 30% of water in the vape juice itself is supposed to help to relieve issues with um, dehydration or dry mouth, things like that. It's going to keep you more hydrated as you vape. And then I personally have never really had much of a problem. Maybe a little bit more with PG, but never with VG. You know, it hasn't mattered what the level or how much VG was in here. It's never really given me too much trouble. But some people do have issues or allergies with either PG or VG. So I do think getting that 30% water in there, meaning you're using less PG or less VG in your vape, is going to be a great thing for a lot of people. But... We want to see if this thing is actually going to vape as good as your regular PGVG vape. I'm going to be testing that out for you today. And as I said, you do have 15 mils of juice in here. It is a mesh coil, although I could not find any specs on what the coil rating was. My suspicion is because of the water content, it's possible it could be a little bit lower um, heat, lower temperature than what you're vaping on regularly. But let's go ahead and check this thing out. This is the green apple flavor of Escobar. Green apple is one of my favorite flavors in general, so I thought this would be a good one to try out. Oh, before I forget, you do have a controllable adjustable airflow on the bottom here. There's a little switch. You just either pull it down or you pop it open. And that is basically going to give you the difference from your direct to lung and your mouth to lung hit. So in the tighter version, it's going to be your mouth to lung. In the looser, it's going to be a direct lung. And if you can see, you have an air hole right there. And when you pop your slide down, it reveals a second air hole. So I'll go ahead and do a mouth to lung hit for you guys real quick first. And then we'll open her up. We'll see if we notice much difference on the vape. Not bad, man. You're getting that throat hit. Oh, I might have forgot to mention this is a Nick Salt 5% or 50 mil of nicotine going on. And that was a pretty tasty, not overwhelmingly, not super strangulatingly sweet, but a good mild flavored apple. Let's try it again. For a mouth to lung hit on Nick Salt, that is not bad vapor production. I'm going to open up that second hole. Can never get my girlfriend to agree to do that. But anyway, we're going to open up that second hole and do a direct to lung hit. Let's try it. Whoo, definitely more vapor than I can probably handle in this Nick Salts, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I would have to say, honestly, as far as a Nick Salt 5% 
E-Juice goes. This is probably one of the smoothest I have tried. Usually they do catch me in the throat and either get me coughing or I can't inhale it fully. This one I'm doing pretty good on and I would tend to think that is because of that water just sort of making it a little bit of a milder, easier on the throat type vape, although you're still definitely getting that throat hit. I like it. I'm not going to lie, man. That is actually pretty nice for a disposable vape. This is actually a pretty unique vaping experience. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and try out another one of the flavors from Escobars. And I, of course, do like the fact that this is a collaboration. I think you kind of brought the best of a lot of different worlds, the disposables, that um, water, e-liquid, and Anakin making the hardware, and you just got like a perfect vape here. This was sent to me from Anakin. I want to thank them. They were the first company to ever send me a product to review here on Indoor Smokers, and I think it's been almost 10 years, and they're still sending me stuff. So thank you very much, Anakin. But all right, strawberry milkshake again your little package here tear it open and there is your pretty colored little vape i'm just going to go straight to the lung hit on this strawberry milkshake let's try it yeah baby that's freaking delicious i would really say that tastes like you can get the vanilla ice cream and the strawberry flavors coming off of this really strong. Almost like if you had dipped your strawberries into a whipped cream topping type thing or a cool whip. That's kind of what it tastes like to me. Again, getting that throat hit, but still smooth enough to be able to take fairly big direct lung hits all right and the last flavor i want to try for you guys is the blueberry bubble gum i like a really nice sweet blueberry so let's see how this thing does holy crap that is freaking delicious man i gotta say blueberry bubble gum man it's so sweet, it tastes like almost um, like a grape Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, baby. All right. So I really think these could be a good thing in a disposable. Like I said, it isn't something you're intended to vape for a few days and toss the whole thing out. With that 6,000 puffs, 15 mils of juice, at least I feel like you're getting your money's worth when you get one of these. And honestly, it is a good hitting, really delicious vape. So I think you're going to get all the satisfaction you want out of a vape. If you are somebody who uses disposables or like me, it's just something you like to have in the car, you know, in a glove box or the side compartment in case of emergencies or if you're out and about. I think this is going to be my go-to backup vape. So the Esco Bars disposables have been around for a while, but this is the new version, the H2O. So you may have to look around a little bit, ask at your local vape shops, or check a few sites online to see who is carrying this right now. And I definitely appreciate Anakin sending me several of these brand new Escobar H2Os. And you guys knew what was coming. We got three of them, and they are real pretty looking. Let's go ahead and get them airborne. Hell yeah, guys. Not only do they vape great, but they juggle pretty damn well, too. All right. So I think that's going to about do it for the Esco Bars H2O review. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little while today. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell so you get the notification when the videos go up. If you enjoyed yourself at any time during this video or you like or have tried the new Esco Bars H2O, make sure you put a comment down in the crotch box right below this video. Other than that, you guys have a great rest of your vaping day. And then hopefully I will see you back here very soon. Possibly in the next few days with a brand new video. And I'm going to juggle you guys out of the video today. Catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>